Hi, welcome to another video by Daniel and John, and uh, we're back on the discovery, away from the allotment today. Uh, we've got a problem with our discovery not starting, basically it won't start when it's in park. It's just been out for a run, been using it for a long, long time, no issues at all. Put it into neutral, it starts. Now, having been there before, we suspected the XYZ switch again, it's arcing. So we've pulled it off, if we show you. That, that so, lives in there basically. So it's like a that. rotary, it's a rotary XYZ switch. Yeah. And um, it's the one with the metal cover, not the brown yeah. one. Yeah. Which is it's the it's, it's this one which is actually more serviceable, the yeah. metal cover. Okay. So we'll drill the rivets out. Anyway, the purpose of this video is just to show you how to safely clean without damaging anything. Should we set should tell them what the problem was, the VAR switch? Yeah, on this piece here. That, it was that it, it basically had arced and on that second one there it had arced so it's not making contact so the ECU doesn't think it's in park so it won't start simple as that so the easiest way to, to uh, safely clean these one when you're taking this apart clamp it down using some contact cleaner and use the nozzle on that. Spray it in there. Now, this is real important. This is when dry sandpaper. You want two and a half thousand. It's real smooth. And literally, just roll your paper up like that. And it'd be obviously so you get a bit of an edge like that. And just go real gentle along there on the tracks. So, so I've done that bit there and it's nice and shiny so that bit is done. The second bit, and this is a little trick we've used, it always tends to be these um, wider teeth that seem to arc these. You see how they're split into two, there's a little divider there. Just get yourself a bit of cardboard like I've done and place it underneath them and using your, because you do want a bit of lubricant you have some old jeans on same piece of paper again and literally so when you're pressing down you're not going to damage them and literally do that with them and it does bring them up as new so it's them pads it's, it's them pads you want to clean yeah, up yeah but just real real gentle now if you spend a bit of time with this uh, it should last longer so do the affected ones or the affected prong and then just do the others just like that one way Gently, and that you see they're virtually like new on there. You can do the same on these as well. You just pop that. I won't bore you with it, but you can just pop that under there. The cardboard. They're different. They're slightly different. And um, just support them a bit. So you, it's basically to stop you pressing them into the recesses, like that. And then just rub, rub you. It's just one way, really, just like that. If you do it like that, you can see they're shining already, start to shine, but they were quite dull. You just don't want to damage any of this, so this is just supporting these very delicate connectors. Okay, so that looks like that's... Yeah, so that's I mean, loads better. We have worked on this a little bit before making yeah, this video. Yeah, but we were doing it and we thought, do you know what? Just make a video case someone else... Someone might just find that yeah. piece of cardboard trick And then handy. afterwards we'd spray a bit of uh, contact cleaner on it, just yeah. to get any grease and stuff off of it. Yeah. So we'll get a bit off. Just do that the same with everything we touch in here. Let that evaporate. Right, so when we put all this back together, or well, before we put it back together, we'll put some dielectric grease. Show them that. Light coat of dielectric grease. And this stops arcing. Stops arcing corrosion. And, uh, and allows it. it and still allows the electrical yeah. contact so you, you must put some of this on or otherwise all your work will be um, wasted. We'll put it on with a, like a, a paintbrush. We will have to re, we'll have to rivet this back together again so we have done a video before but before we rivet back together again just use a little bit of grease on there that'll give you a, a, a quite a nice seal as well and stop any damp getting in there it's the same grease it doesn't matter yeah, yeah. so stop. hopefully these uh, little tips and tricks might help you not damage your switch um, get 
you know, the ability to clean it a lot more thoroughly without damaging anything. Yeah. And um, it's quite expensive. Give to buy you a bit more longevity, they? so you don't have to take it off again. That that was the idea of it, and um, perhaps save you having to send it away. Anyway, thanks for watching.